I'm Mia. And I'm Max. We're students here at IU Northwest, home of the Red Hawks. Come on, we'll show you around. So let's start here, right in the middle of campus. On any given day, you're bound to see students walking to and from class, friends hanging out on the quad, or even a class being held outdoors. From here, let's head over to the Anderson Library and Conference Center, a place every student ends up visiting one time or another. In addition to nearly half a million books, the library features group and individual study areas, computer stations, and a professional library staff to help with any of your research needs. Just outside the library is our outdoor amphitheater. It's a popular gathering spot for students with the stage for live performances and plenty of space to soak up the sunshine. From here, it's just a few short steps to our Dunes Medical Professional Buildings, where you'll find the schools of business and economics, social work, and public and environmental affairs the School of Nursing and our Dental Education program, and the Radiologic Sciences programs are also based in Dunes. There are labs, exam rooms, and study places on every floor, and even a health and wellness center and dental clinic. Dunes is also the location of IU School of Medicine Northwest, the only medical school in all of Northwest Indiana. How cool is that? Just across the way is Merrim Hall. It's home base for the biology, biochemistry, chemistry, geology, and environmental science degree programs. Rain Tree Hall is also nearby. It's where the psychology department is based and where lots of classes for a variety of other degree programs are held. If you've ever visited IU Northwest for an in-person campus tour, then you're probably already familiar with the next stop, Hawthorne Hall. You'll find the Office of Admissions here and so much more. Everything from the Office of Financial Aid and Technology Support Center to classrooms, the writing and math labs, and the School of Education. There is also a multicultural community center and veterans resource center where all students are welcome. Needless to say, it's a pretty busy place. Just around the corner, check out the beautiful outdoor art we have on campus. Many of those one-of-a-kind sculptures you see here and many of the artworks on campus are the work of current and former IU Northwest students and faculty. Well, who do we have here? Hey, Rufus. Hey, Rufus. Rufus is our friendly mascot, and I'm not surprised to find him here because the Savannah Center is home to IU Northwest Athletics. Here you can get fit thanks to a gymnasium, fitness center, and track. And if you're looking for books and cool IU gear, look no further than the Barnes & Noble's bookstore also in the Savannah Center. Of course, I cannot forget to show you the IQ wall. This is a wall of high-depth screens with scrolling information and news, but it's used in other ways too. Some professors show presentations here and the gaming club uses it to play video games. Speaking of clubs, there are more than 70 different clubs and organizations on campus, so there's bound to be a club that's right for you. One of my favorite features of this building are the large windows overlooking the sculpture garden, one of the campus's hidden treasures. The garden makes for a great backdrop to the Savannah Art Gallery, which features rotating exhibitions of visiting artists and student work. Connected to the Savannah Center is the Moraine Student Center, which is exactly what it sounds like, a hub for students. The Red Hawk Cafe is here too, so if you're hungry, this is the place to be. It is also home to IU Northwest Police Department, a full-service law enforcement agency. Many people are surprised to hear that IU Northwest is consistently ranked one of the safest colleges in the state and the nation, and it is thanks to IUPD Northwest's strong commitment to keeping us safe. Our team of highly trained police officers patrol this campus 24-7, 365 days a year, on foot, by bike, and car. That's right, Chief, so be sure to say hello if you see any of them out and about. The last building to explore is the Arts and Sciences Building, the newest one on campus. It's home of the Social Science Degree Programs and the School of the Arts. It features a broadcast studio, a 500-seat state-of-the-art performance theater, as well as a smaller experimental theater and an art gallery. And check out these cool studio spaces for our fine arts students. You won't find these at most art schools. We share part of the building with Ivy Tech Community College Lake County, which makes it super easy for Ivy Tech students to transfer to IU Northwest. Before we wrap up our tour, there's one more thing that we want to show you. Tucked behind our main parking lot, is the Little Calumet River Prairie and Wetlands Nature Preserve. Believe it or not, because of the destruction of the tall grass prairies, our preserve is one of the rarest and most endangered ecosystems in the world. And it was lovingly restored and continues to be maintained by faculty and students at IU Northwest. But beyond the buildings and cool facilities, what really makes our campus special are the people. 
All the professors are committed to our success and because of the small class sizes, students get a lot of individual instruction attention. And to top it all off, IU Northwest is an affordable way to earn a world-class IU degree close to home. In fact, our campus was recently named the most affordable four-year college in Indiana. We also offer discounted out-of-state tuition to Illinois residents, which means it is sometimes cheaper to go to IU Northwest than it is to go to an in-state school in Illinois. We hope you enjoyed your tour today and that you learned something new. To learn even more, contact the Office of Admissions and they'd be happy to help. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you on campus soon. Bye! Bye.